Right folks, we're carrying on down. We passed the cottage, lovely little cottage. Little dog bark, say hello as we walk past. Great big bin lorry came down here a minute ago though. Well, I suppose they have to, didn't they? I looked at the time. It's going on for two. Or was it one? I can't remember now, actually. Um, but I thought to myself, no, I'm not going to go down to Hutton. If I went down to Hutton now, I could get the, a bus. I think it might be... I got a feeling it'd be only be 20 to 2 bus. It'd be like quite early. Now you can do quite a short walk, you see. But I've decided to do Hutton. I'm not, I think I'm just going to do Hutton. I'm not going to think about going to Bleeden because the Hutton bus is disappearing. Um, so. Somewhere over Haywood Village, though, you can get a number seven. But I'm not quite sure which way it goes to get there. don't know if it goes all the way up that takeoff road or not. I'm not quite sure how it gets there. I haven't explored over there properly yet. But there will, I reckon there will be a way to walk to pick that bus up not far. Not really far, you know, not like drastically far. I don't feel like exploring that today. But what we've got to realise is, we haven't got time. We might, I know why, what it was. If you want to do the Hutton bus, you might not have time to do Hutton Wood. See what I mean? And walk across a golf course and all that sort of thing. So, it's a bit of a difficult decision to make. There's not a lot to do in Hutton. I mean, you can kill time by going around the churchyard, I suppose. Um, I've done that. I've just wandered around killing time. Um, <clears throat> but I do want to walk the Hutton Wood. So I'm not going to... So really, I've got two hours. I've got two hours, basically, to play with. Which is probably what I'll need. Because it's not easy walking down through hut and wood. Especially if it's been wet. It's slippery. And I could, like I said, if I was a bit early, say three quarters of an hour I had a kill or something, I could always go around the church. We just have to see, wander around the little park over there. But no, I decided to go from Hutton because this will be the last time. As far as we know, that I will be going to Hutton for, to collect a bus. There, there, there won't be a bus going to bleed either. But at least when I get on the Hutton bus, I can... We'll be driving through Bleeding, so I'll have that experience, even though I'm not getting on there. I didn't. I decided not to do Perrin Hill. I don't want to overdo it today. You see, I just don't want to overdo it because I'm still in recovery. So, and there's some, a couple of big walks, or at least one big walk, I want to do next week. Um, it might be the Quantox, uh, might not be because the trains are so unreliable. It's difficult to know what to do really. This is Canada Coombe, by the way, the hamlet of Canada Coombe. I've videoed it loads of times. So many times I've videoed this place. Oh, 
Right, let's turn that off on it. Right. Lots of uh, posters about Ash Die Back and everything. So we're now walking through part of Hutton Wood, skirting it. I've taken a few photos using this camera. It'll take pictures that are in the dark. I probably need to fiddle more with the settings. So, it's about one o'clock. We've got an hour and three quarters. So, I don't want to rush anyway. And I need an hour and three quarters. Because I know going back, going down, down through Hutton Wood can be quite... Well, dangerous you can fall it's quite slippery the stones get very very slippery so I'm just going to take my time because I'm going to walk across the top as well but I'm not going through the golf course today when the new bus service comes in and Hutton's and Bleeding don't get visitors anymore I've got a walk I can do I could still do this walk and I can either go across the moors at Hutton or I can come on down here and, and I can still pick up a bus buses over Haywood Village so it's just changing direction a bit of course it would be a longer walk to do Crook's Peak I'd have to get off the number 20 at Bleeden And uh, once I found out where the seven, how close a, a path will be to link up to the number seven from here, I will use that. Because the number seven will take me from where I live out to the new estate here. So it's all changed. And uh, in a way, it's always good to have change. Sometimes you make have to make different choices. I've already been denied cheddar, really, to be quite honest, without a very complicated way of getting there and back, <sighs> which will be impossible in the winter to have a two hour walk from Cheddar to Winscombe or to try and pick up one of these buses from Cheddar to Axbridge, you still then got to get to Winscombe to get a connection. This is the missing link that they're not talking about. They're not talking about that missing link between Winscombe and Axbridge and Cheddar. I mean, I've, been, I've done a lot on it and I'm not going to go on about it anymore now. We'll make do with what we can get. Always looks a bit wild, this little wood. It goes deeper in there, but it's wild like this. It's easier to negotiate in the winter because in there, there ain't no paths like this. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't exactly say you can't come in here at the same time. It doesn't invite you. Apart from down here once, it's still there. I found a load of old pottery, but it all been smashed up. Um, I can think I can see a glass bottle now. There, look. A lot of it have been smashed up, as you can see from this. There is one bottle there. I'm wondering if I can get to that. Let me turn off for a minute, folks.